This is the Alex Nine drawers, and this is the first drawer I have here. There's quite a lot in here, and there's still quite a lot of space at the back. Um, I have a crap load of stuff in here. I am planning on getting another Alex drawer because there's things that just don't fit in here anymore. These wee containers are actually from IKEA. They are from the kitchen aisle, and I can't even remember what they're called. It doesn't say on the side, but they're just like we kitchen um, utensil kind of storage. Um, I don't know what they're called, but they do really well in these drawers. Um, so I have three of the small ones and one of the big ones sitting here as well. And then I have things on the side. So I'll start with the things on the side because the things on the side are extras that I haven't actually touched yet. So over here I have a slick... Um, face contour kit. This is in medium, 885. I do have the light one here, but this one's just really, this one's just too dark for my skin. But I do like the highlighter in this, and I do other people's makeup, like friends and family. So, and I know everybody's different color. My mum would probably suit this color right now because she's just back from holiday. So I keep that for that reason. Um, I also have this, I think this is really old actually, um, I'm not too sure, I have to look this up, but this is the Estee Lauder Double All Over Face Compact. Now this has um, soft matte bronzer and blushes in it, but these look absolutely gorgeous. I don't know, how, like I said, I don't know how old this is but these blushes are gorgeous um i haven't as you can see i haven't actually used this so you might see this in a declutter video i'm not sure but it's brand new um my granny got it for me two years ago for my birthday so yeah that just stays in there these over here one is from soap and glory it's the sexy mother blusher in Pinker Bell, and I had a problem with this when I first bought it. I had to take it back to the shop because it was stuck to the lid, um, and then I had to take it back for that reason and get a new one. I haven't used this since I swatched it. I'm just not a hundred percent with cream blushers, um, and then these two are from Topshop. One is the I think they're both the glow stick. One's rubbed off. Um, it's really hard to see what these actually say because there's no writing on them. But these are very oily. Like, can you see that? There's nothing wrong with it. I haven't used it. Um, I swatched it. It's more like a highlighter. I'll show you really quickly. It's more like a blush highlighter. Um, it's very shiny. Um, so it's not really for me, but maybe as a cream eyeshadow, I should probably put it in my eyeshadow drawer instead and see what that's like. The same with the bronzer stick. The bronzer stick, again, there's oil coming from it, and as you can see from this one, I haven't used it at all. Um, I'll swatch it for you. Again, it's very glittery, um, and I just wouldn't use it as a bronzer, so I might use it as a eyeshadow again, so they should probably take these out and put them in my eyeshadow drawer um okay so the other thing over here i have is a techniques get gorgeous highlighter i just recently bought this and i haven't used it yet and i love the if swirl effect on it um gorgeous gorgeous shade really nice and smooth absolute gorgeous it's like one sweep and oh the highlight is just on point, um, I have a backup of my Ben Nye Luxury Powder, which is also in this wee pot as well. I depot it and use it. This one's very yellow, and this one's very ivory, so um, I think I maybe got the wrong shade this time around. I don't know, we'll see, but yeah, I have that. I have the Hula Bronzer, which everybody knows I love, love, love this. I never got the hype to start off with guys and then I bought it and I was like yeah I get it. So I love this. It's like a cool tone bronzer. Everybody's probably seen this. And I also have the brush that goes along with it. 
I have another product that I bought recently, which is the NYX HD Finishing Powder. Again, haven't opened it. It's still sealed. It's in translucent, but I have read a couple of comments on this saying that it's pretty crap. So I am not looking forward to testing that out, but you never know, it might be good for me. Um, this is my concealer. So I have two concealers from eBay. These are Pop Fail High Definition Concealers. These are supposed to be dupes for the LA concealers, but I haven't got the LA Girl concealers yet, so I don't want to try these out. I believe my sister tried one of them out, and it, they're very light. Um, not colour wise, but they're the formulation is very light, so I'll have to give them a go and see what they're like. But for now, that's them. I have three of the NYX HD concealers because I love these. I have the yellow one, um, which is just for underneath your eyes for you know dark circles, and then I have two of the same one. One again is in a packet still. It's still sealed up and this is in porcelain, 01 porcelain. So I have those and I absolutely love them. And then I have the Revlon Colorstay Concealer. This is because I have the 24 hour Colorstay foundation and I love the foundation. So I thought I would do um, a look and I think I've done it before um, in one of my get ready videos of me um, with this and the foundation together and it works really well but the fine concealer that I absolutely love and adore is these guys I have three of them that's how much you know that I love these I go through these so much one of them I think it's this one is nearly done but I can still get some out of it these are the Bosch Wrap Radiance Refill Concealers you will have seen these in all of my videos because these are like my holy grail concealers. I love them so, so, so much. Really recommend them. They're just, they conceal, they're great coverage, but they also give you that lighter under eye. And I'm really pale as it is, so it's really hard to find a concealer that'll make me even lighter underneath my eyes. And I just love these. They stay on so, so well as well. So... They are my go-to. And then I have the Rimmel Lasting Finish Concealer. Now, I don't actually use this. Well, I do use it as a concealer. This one's in, again, O10 Porcelain. Um, I pretty much use this just to conceal over my face. It's very well loved. Um, but I never seem to be able to hit pan on this. I use this quite a bit, actually. Um, especially if I'm having really bad days like refreshness on my skin this comes in really good if I just blot it on underneath blend it in before I put my foundation on and then put my other concealer on it works amazing um, I really recommend that for that or if you're just having days that you don't want to work in um, foundation and you just want concealer but not a lot that's perfect for that as well moving on to this other small one right beside it is my powders and I do have a highlighter that shouldn't be in here so I have four five powders sorry the first one I have is this this MUA Academy or Makeup Academy uh, Pro Base Prime and Conceal Powder now this is four tones You've got the purple the red the yellow and the green but this is what it looks like I find it really hard to hit pan on this really really hard especially because I have other powders here as well that I love 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 so I find this really hard so I only use this on days that I don't really want to go anywhere or I'm just running to the shop or something like that or I'll use it underneath my makeup as well like before I put on my foundation um the other one is one of my high-end ones it is my MAC it is the Mineralized skin finish in light. Um, I don't believe it has a shade. It says A95 on it, but I don't believe it's have a shade. I think it's just light. This gets really powdery, like you can see the screen, like the mirror gets really powdery. But yeah, this is gorgeous. Again, it's really light powder, so it's it literally will just take away that tiny little bit of shine. Um, if you're wanting something that's a wee bit more sturdy, I would 
go for this at all but I got this when I was in New York um I still love it though love 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 it okay the next powder I have is NYX um it is the HD finishing powder in the compact now I bought this first before I bought the other powder and this is just white like it is even when you put it on the skin like can you see that it just it's really hard to blend out as well now it's going to call me a liar because that blended out really well but this is normally really hard to blend out um so I need to use this a bit more and test it out a bit more I've only used it once or twice so I'll need to get this a wee bit of a go um and then the next two powders I'm sorry I'm talking really fast because this is going to be a really long video <laughs> um the next powder I have is the Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot and I actually have two of these and they're both in translucent I believe I believe there's only one shade colour for these so I know I have hip pan on both of these you can see that I have hip pan more on this one and this one just a wee bit I love this powder so 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 much this one I would normally keep in the house before I go out and this one I would normally take out with me because of course there's not a lot of panage going on there but I love 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 this powder it's so so nice so velvety as well on the skin um and then going on to my let me get this back in now then going on to my highlighters in the back here i'll start off with these two because these these are like stick forms that i can't actually get in here so this is the revlon photo stay or photo ready insta fix highlighter stick I bought this in the wrong shade, so I haven't even touched this yet. This is the 210 um, Gold Light. Again, it's kind of like... It's just... It's gold, but it's it's a brownie gold, if you can see that. Um, so it doesn't really suit my skin tone. I think maybe I need to work with it a wee bit more. Maybe see if I can blend it out a bit more. Maybe even use it um, when I'm just using bronzer and... And stuff like that but we'll see we'll give it a go I'm not going to waste products um, I bought it so then I have this which I haven't used yet this is the Bourjois Sculpt Light um, strobing highlighter it is gorgeous I mean gorgeous I don't know why I haven't used this yet you need the tiniest little bit and that's probably a way bit too much yeah so that like look high and you can blend it out to as little as you want or as much as you want it's just so gorgeous so 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 nice the next highlighter that i have here that doesn't fit into the sweet pot as well is my next dual chrome highlighter now, i use this all the time now that i bought it this is oh this is gorgeous i hope you can see this properly but it gives off like a blue sheen but that's what it looks like I'll just quickly give it a swatch for you it's so so nice guys it is absolutely gorgeous look at that blue sheen it's absolutely I love it love it love it love it and it's a cheaper version for the um, Anastasia one and this is the other one oh it's cracked again this came broke to me and I had to fix it and now it looks like it's broke again. Oh yes, that one was in Twilight Tint and this one is in Snow Rose. can't really lift it up as much because it's broke on one side and I'm going to have to press it back down again. But this is like a pinky undertone. Um, absolutely gorgeous again absolutely gorgeous if you can see that love 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 it but again I'm gonna to have to press it down again and um, the other one is also an X illuminator this is just like a really nice gold it's really light when it's really light but at the same time it's really buildable too so absolutely gorgeous you can see that right beside the blue there Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, my other highlight that's in this powder part is my W7, which you've seen in multiple videos before. Probably don't need to swatch it, but it's gorgeous again. It's like champagne pop, if you can see that. 
absolutely gorgeous love 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 so I have this natural collection bronzer in here I bought it because I wanted to buy a cheap bronzer but it's kind of got glitter in it so I don't really use this um because if you can see that the glitter is quite chunky in it so I don't really use this as bronzer I could probably put this in my eyeshadow drawer um but I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. I just don't want to give it away just yet. So this just stays in my highlighter drawer. The next one I have is the Revolution Vivid Bake Highlighter. And I don't actually use this one as much anymore. This is the Peach Lights Highlighter. Again, it's like a rosy toned highlight. Just swatch it again. Just looks like that. And it's more of a pearly finish. It's really, really good highlighter. Like I didn't really swatch that that much. And it's really bright. So and it's brilliant. It was like only a couple of pounds. I have the Undress Me or Undress Your Skin My MUA, which I think everybody has this one. Um not sure what one this is. Um, I know there's a couple of different ones now, but again, this is just like a pink one, just like the one previous, and you can see they're kind of like just going in together now, <laughs> but yeah, these are just pretty much the same, I should probably get rid of at least one of them, but I love them so much, and then, last but not least, is a new purchase for me, which is the Let It Glow Highlighter Powder. This I saw on eBay, everybody was jumping at this pretty much and I love the swirl effect in it. So this doesn't give off as much, it, it looks like it gives off a lot but it doesn't give off as much as what I thought it would because it doesn't really transfer to the skin as much. So this is a really, really, really light highlighter. Um, I suppose you could probably build it up. Um, but it's really light. I'm not going to swatch all of these. I'll swatch a couple of them for you guys because there's a lot. And this might have to be multiple videos. <laughs> this is my Sleek Makeup um, Highlighter Palette in Solstice. And I haven't actually used this a lot. I've only used this like once or twice. Love these shades. Absolutely adore Adore, adore, adore these shades. So, so pigmented and so lovely. So, and then there's a cream one in there that I probably won't use that much because I'm not really into creams. We have another couple of palettes back here, which are blush, highlights, and bronzers. So, these are two Revolution ones. This one is in Smolder, and this one is in Flush. So, this one's Smolder. And it's just a bright pink, medium toned bronzer and the highlight. And then we have this one which is in flush, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous coral colour. Another highlight and a really light, lighter bronzer in that one, which is lovely. I love this one. Um, I need to use these more though because I don't really use these as much anymore. And then this one is a sleek blush set which is in pink lemonade. Again, absolute gorgeous colours. There's a cream uh, blusher in here that I've only ever swatched. I've never actually used it. And then the other one in that is this one. This one is in lace. Absolutely gorgeous. I haven't touched this one because this summer has just came and I only got this last year, just before Christmas. So I haven't touched that one yet. Then I have some single eyeshadows from MEA. I have this one on in Cupcake, which is like a lovely dusky pink colour. I have this one, which is in Marshmallow, which is really, really bright pink. And this one, which is in Lolly, which is absolutely gorgeous again. It's another coral. I used to be into my corals when I started makeup, but I love them MEA blushes. And I am scared to get rid of them because I love them so much. They're only a pound and I don't want to... It's probably be hard to find them again. 
Then I have this, which is an old Avon True Colors blush in Rosette. This is actually a really, really nice color. Um, and I don't have another color that's like that, so I haven't got rid of that yet. I have my Bourjois Bronzer and Highlighter Palette in 51. 55, sorry. This doesn't doesn't do well at all. Pigmentation is not the best on it, but I really wanted to try and get this because everybody smells says that it smells like chocolate. It does not smell like chocolate, but everybody raves about this, so I thought I would keep it and try it on other people. I've only ever swatched it, so I have the slick um contour kit again. This one is in the light. This is the one that I always use. It's more of a cooler toned bronzer and more of a peachier highlight. Okay. Then we have a bunch, and I mean a bunch, of the Natural Collection blushes. So this one is in Peach Melba. This one is in, which is, if you can hear it's coming out. This one is in Dusky Pink. This one is in Sugar Plum. And this one is in pink cloud so they're absolutely gorgeous love 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 them three sleek blushes here one is in rose gold this is gorgeous this looks like NARS um, if I have two of the NARS ones here so if I show you that that one looks like NARS quite a bit except for NARS has more of a pinkier tone but that's so 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 close so if you're looking for a dupe I would say the sleek one in rose gold would be brilliant. And then we have the sleek one in Antique, which again I haven't used this one. This is more of a winter one because it's fiery brown, but it's a lovely, lovely colour. I've been debating whether to use that as an eyeshadow or not. And then we have this one which is in Soleil. Or no, it's not in Soleil. Suede. Sorry. This one looks more like a bronzer to me, um, so I haven't used this one either. But I did have one called Pink Flamingo or something like that, and I got rid of it because it was just too pink. Um, I guess I showed you before, I have the two NARS um, Orgasm ones. I have a newer one that I haven't used yet, and a older one that I'm still using. I have the MUA Whipped Velvet Blush in... Spray is it or spra? I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's absolutely gorgeous. It's a cream. I still have not used this one either. Absolutely gorgeous dusky rose color. I have this one, which is a 17 one, which has a mirror on top, and you take it out, and the blusher is on the top of the lid, and then you have the puff. Um, I don't have a baby pink blush, so I kept that one, um, or else I would get rid of it. Um, I have two Tarte blushes. I'm near the end, guys, I promise. I have two Tarte blushes. This one is in Blissful. I got these when I was over in America. I have used this, believe it or not, quite a few times. and It just never goes down. These are, again, the Amazonian 12R blushes. And this one is in Celebrate. I use this one a lot. Like a lot, a lot. I love, love, love this colour. Um, yeah, and then last but not least is a Topshop one, which is in the colour Dream Phone. So that's what that looks like. It's more of a wintery colour, it's more of a plum colour. So that is everything in my top drawer. 